Hi, I'm Nathan Birma, Educational Technologist at Calvin Theological Seminary. It's my job to work with teachers and with students to use technology in ways that promote good teaching and good learning. That includes the introduction of our new course management system called Canvas. This spring semester is a pilot phase in using Canvas. We'll adopt it throughout the seminary, both residential and online courses in the fall. Uh, but for now, you're helping us explore the possibilities and perhaps some of the problems that we run into in using this system. So we thank you for your patience and your feedback as you let us know how Canvas works for you. So I want to show you around the basic Canvas environment really quickly. There are plenty of other links and tutorials that I can uh, make available to you and will be making available to you um, so that you can explore it more. But I think it's pretty intuitive and I want to show you just some of the basic tasks that you'll probably be using the most. Uh, so that you feel acclimated to this online environment. So let's take a look. After you log into Canvas, this is what you'll see. In the main part of your screen here is a stream of recent activity. This will include anything from discussions and recent comments on them, to new assignments and events that have been added, to announcements from your professor, and even notifications that assignments you've turned in have been graded. You'll be able to just click on them and view your grade and any comments the professor had. Over on the right hand side is a to-do list, a list of upcoming assignments that you'll have to work on to, in order to turn in by the deadline, and a coming up list of other activities, exercises, and anything else in your courses that are coming up in the next week. To enter a particular course, go up to Courses and Groups and click the course that you want to enter. This will bring you to the course's homepage, which is usually a stream of activity just within that course. In this case, the most recent discussion and comments on them. At any time, you can click on Modules here on the left-hand side. Modules is a layout of the course, sort of an overview, that shows you all of the items within a particular week, including assignments, pages of content and videos, discussions, quizzes, and things of that sort. An assignment has the little A-plus icon, uh, content to read or view has a little notebook page. Uh, conversations and discussions have the little conversation bubble. And the circle with the queue is the quiz. You can click on any one to get details about it. And when you view an individual item in a lesson, you can also click on Next to view the next item in that module. So if we were starting the lesson in this demo course, we would start on the first item in that module and after this was completed then we would click next and view this video and by the way this video looks pretty small but when you click play that window will expand and you can also click on these four arrows here the four arrows that point to the four corners which will expand it to fill your screen after viewing that video, you would then proceed to the discussion about that video, and it would look something like this. Note that a discussion has the initial question from the professor, and then responses from individual students, and then replies to other students, and those appear indented and in, with a gray background and in smaller type. So each of these initial responses to the question show up this way and then conversations about particular responses happen here with the indent. So when you're assigned a response, you'll click respond and type your comment. And when you're assigned to respond to a classmate, you'll click make a side comment and type your comment in that way. To submit an assignment, you'll see a big button over here on the right called Submit Assignment, and it'll explain the different formats that have been enabled for submitting your assignment. In this case, all of them are enabled. You can upload a Word document. You can type your assigned writing in, right into this box. You can give the URL of a blog post. You can upload from your Google Docs once you've authorized your Google Docs account. And in this case, you can also record or upload a video or audio response and hit submit. And then when you get to the last item in the module, you have completed that module and your work for the week. You might find that the next module is locked or blocked uh, until it gets closer to the time in which it's scheduled to happen. Uh, you might be able to view 
the contents of what's in it but not click on individual items until it gets closer to the week in which it's opened. If you run into any problems at all, we definitely want to know what's going on and here are the ways in which you can notify us and notify Canvas support staff about any problems you're having. First, if you run into any glitches where you get an error message or something isn't working the way it should be, go over here on the top bar and there's a button that says help. When you click on that, you'll get a little pop-up menu. And the last option is called report a problem. It says, if Canvas misbehaves, tell us about it. Click on that and you'll simply have to type a subject and brief summary of the error you're having. Click send feedback and that notification will go first to support staff here at CTS and then we will send it on to Canvas support staff if we need to. And that those support staff might be in direct contact with you. Uh, you'll get the, those messages by email. They might want a little more information about what uh, was happening when you had your error or more details about the error. Um, so please uh, let them know if they have any follow-up questions. You can also click on Tools up here and in addition to getting links to Canvas tutorials and things of that sort, you can click Contact Kelvin Seminary Support Staff and you'll see information about everyone who you can contact here at the seminary about Canvas. First, you can email canvas at kelvinseminary.edu with any problems, questions, or comments. You can email me individually or call me. There's also our information technology staff and distance learning staff who's able to help you. So at any time, go to Tools and contact Kelvin Seminary support staff with any questions or comments that you have. So that's the basic layout of Canvas. There's much more to uh, learn and discover about this system, but those are the basics. Those are probably the items that you'll be using the most. And so I hope you have a bit of a sense of how Canvas works. Once again, please let me know if you have any questions and let us know how it goes this semester using Canvas for your online courses.